right and wrong, good and evil. I believe what I am doing is good, and what I am standing up against is evil. Welcome everybody to another Nair Talks Review, Nair Talks Review Rain, another movie, this more of a documentary, but before I go on with the review, if you are listening to this on SoundCloud, you can go jump ahead and watch the same audio review on YouTube, and if you are watching this on YouTube, you can jump back ahead on SoundCloud, and this and that. Uh, most likely, I will not put this on SoundCloud, it was specifically for YouTube, I was just a habit of saying that, but I'm reviewing Cartel Land, a documentary Produced by Captain Bigelow, uh, Bigelow, directed by Matthew, some shit like that. Uh, great documentary as a movie, as this movie is his, uh, I think, uh, bigger, bigger budget uh, documentary. Uh, the movie takes place in, in um, between the border of, uh, of uh, I believe, uh, Durango and then uh, uh, you know, Arizona and El Paso, shit like that. It, 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 it differs. Uh, you have you have a character who is an American who goes. He's a typical people that you see in the news that you always see, uh, who either fight back against the coyotes uh, who are crossing people, the coyotes, the uh, coyotes who are passing people up and down, and uh, across the border, but who are uh, drugs, who are drug mules, you know, smuggling drugs. Um, he's kind of like he's not he's not like a racist guy, but he does do what he believes his country is right. Uh, in vain of something like Donald Trump, maybe. Um, and you have another character who is a who is um, a more more like a revolutionary rebel. Who's who who's his idea is to stop the whole crime between cartels and hurting people. And same with the with the with the American, which his is almost the same, but his is almost like if we even let any immigrant immigrant, it might affect us. But it's mostly about not bringing drugs, and that's with him because you see the deadly that happens. You even this documentary take you to the depths of being interviewed by uh, real life drug uh, mules and real life uh, drug methamphetamine uh, cookers cooks. The movie really is it's really gripping. The movie I mean, this is actually a, a hour hour and a half almost two hours vice documentary. If you've seen vice, uh, you know what they do. Uh, they go on the edge of being. You know, a hardcore documentary. This is that, and it, and I think uh, background check. Um, it was gonna start as a vice, but they he went forward to make it more into a more into a full like documentary, and then also I think it was gonna be about um, just the guys who are stopping immigrants from coming into uh, the United States. But he found more about these uh, rebels against the cartels, and more about information about the cartels. And he wants to film both sides, and you get the both sides. You understand the American side, and you understand the, the Hispanic side. It's a really gripping movie. It's really um, it feels even fake at some time because it feels so real. I mean, the fact that it's so gorgeously shot. But I say it feels fake because it feels like it feels like a movie, movie without being a documentary. But that's how real it gets because documentary should be visionary, should be uh, should be uh, extraordinary, should be uh, you know, colorful, should be eye opening like a film does. And that's how it feels. It feels like a movie, but at good points because I honestly think the movie should be nominated for. Uh, at least best documentary because it's entertaining, it's grip, it's beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Um, as a verdict, like I said, it's entertaining, it's grim, it's grimy as fuck also, but it's really grim, it's really entertaining, and it's really hardcore because it really, um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of gracie actually, but when you have a documentary really on the scene of a shootout between the cartels and the, and the police, really is intense. It feels as intense as Sicario was because it feels like a live action, a real live action Sicario uh, version of this. It really is entertaining. I really enjoyed it a lot. I mean, I hope this guy just jumps ahead to make films or make more documentary interesting as this because this is, uh, cartel stuff is interesting. As much as you heard it all before, as much as you've seen before, cartel stuff is interesting because of stuff that you do. If it's not witchcraft, if it's not, uh, if it's not a militia fighting, if it's not rebelling, if it's not killing, if it's not uh, torturing, it feels like a real life fucking freak show and real life fucking horror show. Uh, like I said, that that's really much my review for Cartel Land. It's entertaining, it's grim, it really is a home movie. Uh, I wish I could see it at the movies. I see that at home, but at the movie would have been gorgeous. But it really is a Netflix movie, and I really recommend seeing it if you're a fan of documentary, if you're a fan of this type of, you know, drug cartel stuff documentary is really entertaining. And that's what I have to say about uh, Cartel Land. Go like my reviews. Like I said, if you're watching my reviews on YouTube, you can jump back and listen to the audio reviews on SoundCloud. And same with this. I hope you guys have a great day. Like my my like my stuff. Check out my reviews. I'll be doing more stuff to my channel. More commitments to the channel. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, everybody.